Hola. I don't know what that was. Today I wanted to talk about a topic that I don't know if many people kind of know about or, I mean, a lot of people do, but I don't know if a lot of people are very conscious of it. Let's get on to what I wanted to talk about in this shakiness, I apologize, but I wanted to talk about interracial relationships and in the sense of like how people view them. So since my son is biracial, my boyfriend is black and I'm white, it's hard sometimes when people look at us, walk down the street or in a supermarket or anywhere. Literally, people will look at us and be like, give us the stink eye, they'll look at us and kind of be like, um, what are you doing type of look. And, you know, it's not the easiest thing to get through, but I want to say in the sense of because we love each other and we know that we're together for our personalities and not for our color of our skin or even like what we look like then it really helps so one story i wanted to talk about was when i was walking with my boyfriend in my old neighborhood which was in a decent neighborhood nothing like too i guess you could say bad or good or anything like that but we were walking in my neighborhood and we got stopped and we were walking outside of a park. Back to the story, we were stopped. And it wasn't by like, a policeman or anything like that. It was literally by this woman, a regular woman. And not only were we stopped, but she was yelling at us. And so we were walking by a kid's park and there's like a gate obviously that connects the park to the sidewalk and this and that so she's standing on the other side taking care of a caucasian baby and she's african-american and she yells to us oh she's gonna call rape on you da -da 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 -da. claiming that i would call rape on my boyfriend and it was the whole, like worst thing I've ever encountered at that age like my boyfriend and I started dating I think we were I was 14 or 15 and he was 16 or 17 I'm not sure he's he was he is two years older than me but he he's seen a lot of things and I have too but personally to have a, a race um, thing happen it's just like you never you know what's out there and you know people kind of judge by race and things like that. But to me it fascinated me. It was just, I was dumbfounded. I had no idea what to do, what to think, what, anything. So, you know, he said just like, let's keep walking. Let's just keep going. Don't mind her. And I, it's just, I was shocked. And this happened... I want to say like eight years ago <laughs> still think about it so it was just shocking like I never wanted him to think that would happen especially because braces nowadays a huge thing as it was back then but it seems like it never will go away and that's so sad and I just want to talk about how interracial couples are no different than any other type of couple. Obviously, there's interracial and like regular. And what I'm trying to say is couples of the same race, couples of the same gender, anything, like no one should judge them. Biracial, one race, like who cares? Like my son's black and white, he's gonna date, I don't know what type of woman or girl or anything in the future and I can't judge people because of their color their height their their gender like it doesn't make any sense to me about why people do that and I just want to talk about in this video how it's so sad that people still think it's okay to say things like 
oh, she's going to call rape on you just because you're African-American. Well, she used, you know, because you're N-word and this and that. And it hurts, especially now to know that my son is biracial. It, I can't imagine someone yelling that to him. But back to what I was trying to say before was, once this woman said what she said and we walked away and my boyfriend was just like, ignore her, keep going. And I just said to him a couple minutes later, I said, that didn't phase you? Like, that, what do you think? And he told me that he would never think that I would do something like that to him and I would never do that. And he knew that. So he said it would didn't really phase him in the sense of him thinking I would do it. But he knows that there are people out there that still act like that. So <laughs> it's amazing that human beings can can be so cruel and obnoxious and, you know, sticks and stones. I get it. They're just words. But rape is a strong word. And saying it is strong, but saying it in the sense talking about how a white woman is going to call rape on a black man and just it's ridiculous and if you are or people watching that are in a interracial relationship thank you for watching but don't don't let anyone judge you you don't don't think just because you're one skin color and your partner's another skin color, it makes you any better than anybody else or it, it, people make it seem like that. Like, I've had people say to me, like, oh, before they knew what, where my boyfriend was from or what c color he is in the sense of being Caucasian or African American or Hispanic or anything. They'd ask me to be like, oh, so you have a boyfriend? I'm like, yeah. And then they're like, oh, okay, like, where is he from, New York? Oh, that's great. And I'm like, yeah. And then they're like, oh, is he Caucasian? Or they say, is he white? And I'm like, no, he's black. And they would be like, oh. And it's like everything changes. All of a sudden, you know, they ask the strangest questions like, where does he live? Does he live in bad parts of New York? Da -da 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 -da. Like, who cares? Who cares? We're all the same. We all have fingers, we all have eyes, we all have a nose and a mouth, and, you know, it's just, it's ridiculous. Like, at the end of the day, just because I have a lighter skin tone than so many other people, or they have darker skin tones than me, doesn't mean anything. It just doesn't. So, I just want to put it out there that this racism that is still going on is ridiculous. And I'm sorry if anybody else is having any type of racial connotations towards you in an interracial relationship. It should not be happening, and it's ridiculous. But I, I hope that anybody who takes anything from this video is pretty much everybody is equal, and we should all care about each other no matter what we look like or sound like or anything. So... I just want to say thank you so much for watching, and I'm sorry I went on this rant, but it's just something that I've seen, like, I've seen a lot of YouTubers who are in an interracial relationship, and they have beautiful babies, and just like Nikki and James, or James and Nikki, their YouTube channel is amazing, um, Patricia Bright and her husband, they just had a baby, and their channel is amazing, you know, like, those are just a few people, and... I hope one day I can get my channel to be as big as theirs, and I would love to reach out to so many people, but those are people who you can see are successful, and they love each other, and so why does it matter what they look like? Anyways, again, I'm sorry for the rant, but thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.